Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Ashley. I'm Amy. And we're Martin Midlife Misadventures. Tell them all we got today. Today, we have our weekly prepper pantry haul for you. We sure do. We went on Black Friday to the Family Dollar. And then today, today's Monday the 29th, we went back to Family Dollar and to our local grocer. So, it's it's a nice size little haul. Yeah, huh? it's a pretty good little haul. Hey, and I need to do a major shout out to the Family Man Prepper. Yes. Let me see the stuff. Okay, we've been fighting a huge water issue for over a week now. Yeah. And last year, or the beginning of this year, see this stuff right here? This uh, no rinse wash. Family man prepper Travis and his wife Michelle sent us dozens of bottles of this as long as we cannot thank you enough it we're has in it saved again our lives more times already i just yeah you guys this stuff has been amazing and we just we have to shout them out because you continue to save our yeah. life with your generosity and this very they're good people go check them out very good people we are going to put a link for their page in the description yeah. now let's get to the hall let's do it let's go Okay, on these dollars, it says a dollar wow, but the drinking water is a dollar thirty per gallon. Times they are a changing. I think that is disgusting. Let's do this haul. We're going to start with the non food items. For starters, as you know, we don't have a coffee pot, we use cone filters for doing it manually. Two dollars. We picked up this for $1, this ultra white with charcoal Colgate toothpaste. That'll go in our dental preps. One more pair of readers. These are the kind Amy likes. For $5, they had this two movie collection, Ready Player One and Blade Runner 2045. Neither one of us have seen these, so that'll be fun. We picked up a treat for Ryan. This isn't Prepper Pantry, but she's going to get a peanut butter biscuit. We picked up two more of the emergency six count candles. We exclusively use candlesticks when our power goes out, and these emergency candles work fabulously. You get six for a dollar. Look for them at all your dollar type stores. Now, for our snack tonight, I know it's not prepper pantry, but I want to show you because these were only a dollar. One for me, Amy, and Grandpa. Biscolata. I cannot wait to try those. These cookies, on the other hand, are for the Prepper Pantry. Fudge, marshmallow, and chocolate chunk. Those were $2 each, and those will last us through the entire winter. Up here, we have a bag of tortilla chips. Two of the Scott six-pack towels. Those were $5.75. Our $5 Angel Soft and our $1 pack of napkins. Just beneath that, you'll see this Welch's Orange Pineapple. That's for the Prepper Pantry. Amy will probably end up drinking it, though. We also got some great deals on $2 a can on this corned beef hash. The date is until 2024. And the same with this Denty Moore. $2.75. These are the larger cans. And those have uh, three years left on the Best Buy date. A four pound box of pure baking soda. And look, it's for baking, cleaning, and deodorizing, all purpose. One thing of this whipped buttercream frosting, that was $1.85. And two of the Supreme Triple Chunk Betty Crocker um, Fudge Brownie Mixes, they were $2 each. And right here is our Friday night pizza. Every Friday we have pizza. This is for Grandpa. They were $5.75 each. Amy and I get the plain cheese one. If you haven't seen the way I add my dehydrated beef to it, I'll leave a link for you so you can watch it because that's what I plan to do with this one. All right, today is Monday, November 29th, and this is the second part of our weekly haul. We picked up two of these Martinelli's uh, apple juices. Amy just loves these, and I love the bottle, so we treated ourselves and got two of those. Two pencil sharpeners and one box of Crayola um, colored pencils. They were on sale for a dollar. We thought, why not? Another container of the six pack of Scott paper towels, five seventy five, and another Angel Soft twelve pack for five dollars. We also picked up 
some zote soap. We always pick these up when we find them for a dollar. This is what we use to make our laundry detergent. Down here, we only have two of these, these strawberry bananas. They were a dollar each. Amy wanted these as a treat and some more juice to go back into the pantry. This peach melody was $2.98 and it is one of our favorites. A non-cook, uh, non-stick cooking spray for $1.99. Two cans of chunk breast chicken. These were two fifty each, and these are the nine point seven five ounce. And then we got two of these twelve ounce roast beef with gravies for two ninety seven. We also picked up this nasal aspirator. You just never know when you might need something like this, not just for a baby, but even your animals. So you might want to think about adding one of these to your preps. Down beneath there, they only had one can of chili beans, so I didn't feel bad about taking it. It was 80 cents, and we got one can of the asparagus because all the other cans were completely dented and looking rusty and nasty. So we only got one of these at a dollar. Here we have some Maxwell House. This was a 30.65 ounce container for $6.98. I just thought that that was a really great deal and you can never stock up on too much coffee. Now that's pretty much everything we got at Family Dollar. Let's go on to the grocery market. For $1.50 we got a coconut pecan frosting and C5 cake mixes here. They were on sale for $0.88. Cents. I just could not resist that special and they have a long Best Buy date on them. We picked up two cans of tomatoes, giant ones. These are the 28 ounce cans, 89 cents for the stewed and the crushed tomatoes. And like you always see us get, three cans of these no salt added tomato sauces, 33 cents each. A thing of pure olive oil for $2.79. And then we got some jello puddings. You see here, three butterscotch and two of the pistachio. They were 99 cents each, and those are my two favorite flavors of pudding. We also got four of these hot dog chili sauces, two with onion, and two are original. They were a dollar each. $2.79 on another 10 pack of Amy's favorite apple cider and $2.99 on this perfectly mint uh, Big Low Tea. We found two cans of sliced carrots at a dollar each. We would have got more, but again, it was one of those dented can situations. I think that's why they had them on sale. So we got two of those. The butter was still on sale, but not as good as last week. Usually it's $4.99 a pound. So at $2.99 a pound, I only picked up one of those. For our spices this week, we picked up ground ginger, a tarragon, and a dill weed. So we thought this was just a dollar store thing, like maybe it was from Halloween, but I guess not. It's in our regular grocery store, too. What in the world? All right, everyone, are you stocking your pantries? What did you think about that haul? Uh, I think it was all right. It wasn't... Uh... It was all right. It was all right. Yeah. Because we're shopping the sales. Yeah. The stuff is expensive. I mean... A dollar thirty for a gallon of water. <laughs> you gotta crazy. start stocking water, especially please. If you are in the city, please start stocking yeah. your water. Yeah, at least. and if you're if you're already buying jugs and you drink and you rotate your your uh, stock, fill those jugs up. Yeah, with your tap with water. With your tap water, because you'll be able to bathe in it. You'll be able to uh, use it for your toilet. Everything. Everything. You basically can, especially if you have a way to purify, because then you can drink it too. Yeah. So even if, if you're pulling it out of your faucet and putting it in a container, all you would have to do to purify it down the line is maybe just boil it a little. Right. It'll be fine. It's just going to taste flat because yeah. the oxygen's going to be out of it. But please do not get lazy right now. It's easy because everybody's out there doing their holiday fun, shopping, yeah. all and this stuff. And everything's looking kind of normal out there. Yeah, a little bit because we saw it for our ourselves them stocking them their shelves yeah. out of those sea trains behind walmart because that's where all the holiday food and things like that have yeah been so all that stuff they've taken out of those sea chains there won't be sea trains to refill the yeah, stores if that's not going to be a year-round thing it's only the holidays <sighs> they keep talking about february for some reason so. so i mean they're signaling to us they're telling us so 
you know, you better pick up what they're throwing out there. Yeah, pick it up and get it in your cart right. and get it home. <laughs> Our next hauls are going to be a little different. We're making a switch. We're going to be concentrating more on grains, flour, sugars. Yeah, more sugars. of the staples. I'm going through a ton of it, everybody. Baking your own bread and things from scratch, despite the fact that you see a lot of processed food. She's never just opened a can and put it in a pan. No, I don't. I always add fresh she ingredients, all up. kinds of things to my food. So uh, we really need to get back on our grains. Yeah. And this is a good time for us to get them because they can be stored outside in the very cold, no problem. Yeah. And it gives us time to figure out where figure we're going to put it out. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we appreciate you all so much. Uh, we hope that you'll give us a thumbs up. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Leave us a comment and Amy's uh, merch. Go to the merch shop on our on our page. Just go to the top right next to the community tab. Yeah. And if you go in and you uh, like a design and you hit on it, it'll take you back to the store so you can see everything. Yeah, because they've only approved like 16 designs out of yeah. a lot. <laughs> well, 16 products out of 170-something. Yeah, if you put the same design on 10 different items like a cup a shirt a hoodie each individual yeah. one has to be yeah. approved it's so weird but well it is i think what it is. i think that's because you can actually change what the uploaded image is oh yeah so you could do that on an individual product that's a lot of work <laughs> yeah so they're just trying i guess to make sure you know nothing we're they don't following like the regulations <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much. We are going to be talking to you really soon. God bless you all. Peace.